Hey, how's it going, YouTube? How y'all doing today? I just got back with this corn stover. I went to go pick it up this morning. I had to wait in line for about an hour to get it. There is such a demand for hay right now, a shortage of it that there was just, there, there, there was a line out there this morning. It took me an hour to get it. I only picked up three bales, three 1,000 pound bales. People were loading 18 wheelers. People were loading gooseneck trailers. They were stacking it at every which way they could. People were hauling 40 of them at a time. Oh man, yep. This is good corn stover. A lot of uh, corn cobs in it. These cattle are over here eating this one. I got another one over here. A few animals over here eating this one. This one's a little bit easier for me to get to. Got some animals over here eating on this too. There's a lot of corn, just cobs in here. It's just cobs. That's good stuff. Got some ears in here too, just a few of them. <clears throat> stuff like this. I've been, uh, this one's kind of a uh, nasty. Maybe I'll clean that off and I'll go. I'll go give it the slow poke. I found a a few ears over or, or just uh, picking through these bales. Like here's one right here. If I find a, a decent ear every once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up to go give it the slow poke. So he's got a little bit of something cool going on, right? Okay, so got a couple more ears for him. Yep, this is corn stover. This is it's got corn cobs in there. This is stuff that I usually use for bedding. I do feed it to these animals. They are eating it. It's supposed to be wet all week this week. Oh man, it's hard to tell if this is cow manure or if it's just dirt. So, <laughs> yep. I do feed this to these animals when it gets real wet outside. It is supposed to get rainy. It's supposed to be raining five out of seven days this week. And with those five days of rain, it's supposed to rain somewhere around 2.5 to 3.5 inches. So at times like this, this, is, this would be a good time to put some corn residue bales in for these animals. When it rains like that, this barn will get some water in it. This bedding will get wet. These cattle will get agitated. It, some cattle will just stand up. They'll have difficulty laying down. There's all sorts of problems that comes with that that happens when when it gets too wet for these animals, including they start having diarrhea. This corn stover is good for all that stuff. This corn stover, they'll they'll, they'll kind of sort through it to find what they would like. Then this happens. This happens very quickly. All this stuff that just kind of, uh, kind of gets, they, 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 they'll sort through this stuff. So a lot of this stuff will just get tossed around. Most of it, in all honesty, will just get tossed around. Big idea of corn stover is uh, that, well, well, it's usually very good for bedding. It's good to put uh, dry material on these animals. It's also good for uh, reducing their protein intake. So if my grass is coming in too hot, this corn stover would be good to reduce how much protein they're getting. It'll if they're getting what uh, protein spurts. If they're spurting real bad from having too much protein in their diet, this stuff will correct that too. Still, though, I, I was thinking about getting uh, if if I paid a uh, a gooseneck hauler, somebody with a gooseneck trailer to haul a, a load for me. They could haul 16 bales over here for about 200 bucks. In all honesty, though, corn stover, it, 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 I, I, I've heard that, that that dry cows, so cows that are waiting to be uh, bred again, are uh, they they they, uh, they can eat corn stover to, to, to stay in, in in decent body condition. From what I've seen with calves like this, somewhere between three hundred fifty to five hundred fifty pounds, they need a bit more protein in their diet to grow correctly. They need a lot more protein than, 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 than what is going to be in this corn stover. That is for sure. 
I would, uh, oh, I mean, well, it depends. I guess it depends on that corn stover. I mean, if it was a real, 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 real fresh, real young corn stover, I mean, but I, w I would just say 99% chance, 99.99% chance with corn stover, cattle this size will need some kind of a supplementation to their diet to grow properly. They'll still kind of chew through it. They'll, they'll 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 sort through it. This guy seems to be really be liking it. That's that's good. <laughs> so yep, they'll sort through it. They'll pull it out. They'll uh, the, the, a lot of this stuff will end up and and end on this floor over here as bedding. Thing about corn stover is that corn stover it may cost when it's in season, it may cost eighty dollars a ton. Right now, it may cost $110 a ton. Even at $110 a ton, it is cheaper for me, as well as I would do. I would get much better results if I just invested that money into growing my own field. Because if I grew my own field, if I was going to keep enough grass growing for 30 animals this size to eat, if I had real good weather, let's say I just got real, real, real great weather. It was raining three, four, five inches a month. Weather just stayed right at around 90. Just real good weather to grow that sedan grass. I would still, I would, I would maybe spend 50 more dollars to get 10 times as, as men, a, a, better results. If I just put in a hundred, if I put in a hundred seventy-five or so dollars a month, I can grow enough grass to feed thirty animals. So corn stover, in reality, I think that it would just be like, whoa, it costs eighty dollars, a hundred ten dollars a tonnage. That's still extremely expensive when compared to just growing my own grass. I also think that, well, so one thing that a lot of people, I think that uh, they, uh, that they, well, something that I think is kind of, okay, well, so he, when people think of grain, a lot of people who, is, who, who think of grain, they see grain as like this horrible thing. When in reality, grain is just another way of saying seed. So how I look at it is that I, I feed grain to these cattle. In all honesty, though, cattle eat grain all the time by, the, by, their self, by, by themselves. If I left cattle on a the field, they would eat grain all the time as well. They may be getting a much higher quality grain when I take care of them. They are still eating grain, though. Like corn... Corn is probably a uh, well. It's an it's a uh, extremely common grain here in in, in America and in, in in USA. If I were to take a piece of corn, just one corn kernel, this is what corn looks like when when it's just off of a plant. This is what corn looks like. If I were to take one of these corn kernels, one of these corn grains, if this was fresh. I could plant this corn to, to grow a plant. So corn is just another way of saying seed. So cattle eat, animals eat grain naturally too. They eat, they, they eat, they eat a lot of grain. Uh, grass, or excuse me, corn is just a grass. Uh, I think that that is also something that uh, farmers would tend to know. Uh, may, maybe other people they 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 uh they don't well, well who knows i mean it but corn is just a grass it's just a very large grass this is just its seed this is what its seed looks like so if, if cattle were out eating a field that grass may be small but if it has seed on it if it has a, a seed head on it they're eating grain so that Grain is just a. Oh, I found another little kernel for for slowpoke. Grain is just another way of saying seed. C 
cattle, from what I have seen personally, everyone does their own thing. So that's perfectly fine. From what I have seen, though, from what I have seen, cattle need a balance of grain with forage. They, they need both to, to put on weight properly to be healthy. They need both of them. If, a, if an animal was left to just wander a field their whole life, they would be eating grain as well. They would just be eating a smaller grain or maybe even less of it. They would still be eating grain though. Oh my gosh, they over there just running into each other. Oh wow, I found, I found a good one right here. Like this right here. I'm gonna get that the slow poke. So yep. That's just, I guess, uh, it is what it is. Grain is just another way of saying seed. So when cattle, they, they from what I've seen, they, they do a, a best, they, they do best when they get fed a balanced diet of, of seed essentially, or grain with forage. That's just from what I've seen. Particularly these young calves, they, they need a high quality protein diet to grow properly. Alright, well that's it for me today, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.